this video might be one of the most important videos on my channel because it is the first time I'll be actually doing a PC build. We're going to be attempting to replace my old ass laptop with this old boy desktop. In fact, that's kind of my nickname for him. It's old boy. This is an HP Compaq Elite 8300 mid tower. Uh, it's got an i7-3770 and four gigs of RAM. We're upgrading to a total of 12 gigs of RAM and a new GPU. This should be able to kick my laptop's ass. I have benchmarks. I'll put them up here. I only did like two fucking benchmark softwares because they're all the same. Actually, they're all different and they're all kind of dog shit. So it does not matter. I also have the webcam set up over here and we're going to talk about all the components and everything. I'm going to lay it down, install this shit and we'll, uh, we'll benchmark it, see how it does. One more thing though. That 500 gig SSD is coming out of that laptop, I know. And this desktop will be taking the place of the laptop. But I can't install the SSD right now because as you guys can see, my SATA cable only has two connections and uh, I kind of need three. We have a 120 gig SSD in here and a 500 gig hard drive. I'm just trying to play like Fortnite, benchmark some things and edit my videos for now. So 600 gigs, that should be fine. I'll be buying more space later and this will actually be decommissioned once more to an entertainment laptop when I build my actual PC. So. If you guys are interested in more PC builds, be sure to stick around on the channel. I'll, uh, I'll have more in the future. I am sweating like a pig. I can feel the grease on my face. So this thing is old, very, very old. In fact, it only supports 1300 megahertz RAM. So I got another eight gigs. Of if I get another text while I'm recording, I'm actually gonna fucking shoot somebody. I will find someone, I'll find whoever texted me and I will fucking kneecap you. 1300 megahertz RAM, 12 gigs should be enough for my editing. It's already Desktops are already 80 times better at editing than my fucking shitty ass laptop. In reality, my laptop performs just about as good as this desktop does, but it doesn't run Premiere anywhere near as smooth as it should, so yeah. Let's lay this boy down, get ready to start putting these things in. This is an NVIDIA Quadro K2200 GPU. It's very, very uh, old and beautiful. It's basically brand new. It has four gigs of GDDR5 RAM. It also has a clock speed of about 1050. I can overclock that using MSI Afterburner to about 1100, which I'm going to do. But with all my Windows optimizations and everything I plan to do to the software and the operating system on this thing, it'll run just fine, trust me. You guys saw what I did to my laptop. My laptop should not run anywhere near as well as it does, but it does. All right, so GPU for last, let's put in this RAM. I unfortunately won't be able to overclock the CPU in this because it's a locked i7-3770. Not only that, but I actually can't even get into the BIOS. This is an old ass HP desktop. I'm not really allowed to do anything. The power supply is proprietary. The motherboard's proprietary. Can't even say shit. Which by the way, we have a 320 watt power supply. Not a lot, but it's gonna do just fine for what we're, uh, what we're going for here. This graphics card only consumes on average about 60 watts and after I overclock the CPU a little bit or the CPU of the GPU that's fucking confusing it should run pretty damn well for this system all right all four RAM slots I know you guys can't even fucking I feel so retarded whatever it's not the main attraction this this is the main attraction which by the way look how clean this thing is I got this thing basically brand new. It came with fucking uh, a new VGA cord, a new HDMI cord, everything. Oh yeah, and before someone rags on me about my cable managing, there are no compartments for cable managing in this desktop. Like, I'm dead serious. There's no compartments in the front. There's no compartments on the other side panel. Nothing. I'm gonna need a knife. I'm already sweating, dude. Like, seriously. <laughs> I'm super excited to try this thing out. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. I might just have to break this bitch. So I'm sorry to all the uh, classic PC buffs out there. I don't know anything about old PCs. Uh, I only really know anything about the new shit. So if any of this is important, I'm sorry, but I had to get it out of here to get this GPU in here. GPU, RAM, let's turn her on. Yeah, let's turn her on, even though I exclusively said this PC is a him. I need, what else do I need? What else do I need? What else do I need? I need ethernet. Oh, fuck me. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it'd be. Always oh, kind of is fucking shit. This Ethernet cables is like. As long as my okay, all the fans are spinning. I should have fucking planned this to give you guys an actual good shot. Here, all the fans are spinning. Everything seems to be working. Okay, what the fucking fuck is this? 1080p asshole. Oh yeah, not just 1080p. I want fucking 144. Oh, it has the Microsoft Basic display. Oh, you dickhead. Okay, so we need to restart. Oh yeah, by the way, there is no disk drive in here. That's just a front panel that I need to clean out and fucking fix. I need to clean out everything in this thing. I cleaned out most of it the other day, but still, you guys wouldn't be able to see it, but uh, there's dirt and gunk all over my hands. It's like this really light film. It's disgusting. I cleaned this thing out the other day and it's still fucking dirty. I promise you guys, I'll have a lot more professional PC builds in the future. Now I have the NVIDIA control panel. This is lit, this is lit. Now for the fun stuff. We're gonna download MSI Afterburner and we're gonna download user benchmark and Cinebench. And we're gonna run benchmarks on this thing 
uh, and we're gonna overclock the GPU a tiny bit. All right, now we're running user benchmark to see how it compares in comparison to the laptop over there. Via CUDA can't have a stable fucking gameplay experience because of this fucking laptop. Fuck you guys. All right, so it's about on par with my laptop. It was kind of what I expected, actually. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more optimizing to this thing. The operating system, the software, everything. I'm going to optimize the GPU settings. Everything will be perfectly fine later on down the line. But right now, I don't even think I have it updated to DirectX 12. I think this desktop's still on DirectX 11. I'll probably have a stream sometime. When's this going to be released? I have no idea. But now that I have two competent PCs, I can actually try to stream more often and hopefully have better results. But I don't know. Fucking with you guys. I'm positive. 110% positive. This is going to be an amazing amazing fucking experience while streaming and i really do hope you guys enjoyed this very very shitty video i'm unbelievably sorry it got so bad v cuda from the future once again not going to show my face because my hair is still as fucked up as it was the other day it's two days later we got fortnite loaded up getting pretty damn good fps i've been playing on it for the past few days it's actually amazing looks damn nice in the setup for an old ass pc i do i do keep the side panel on most of the time and uh it is quite loud you guys probably can't hear it all that well, but yeah, it's it's quite loud. But with the panel on, it's not all that bad. I feel like it makes the setup look complete. I just wanted to show you guys how it looked and uh, how it performed, at least in one game, before the video ended. So, uh, V Cooter from the past, take it away. But I love you guys. If you guys did go on to enjoy this, uh, this very shitty PC build, please be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'll have more of these in the future. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Come on.